I'm going to do some random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you're new to this version, there are links in the video description below that can help you learn the fundamentals. It's very challenging and a lot of fun to play. In a nutshell, two players play two hands at one time. When one player has two winning hands, the game stops. In this exercise, I just practice decision making from when you get your dealt tiles, because it can be a little overwhelming. Let's see if we can identify the strength in a dealt hand in three random pulls. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll these dice to determine which player we are. Odd will be player one, even will be player two. I rolled sixes. That's what the jokers are. So that would be even. Therefore, we're going to be player two. I will get 28 random tiles. Okay, look at all these jokers. Just because you have jokers doesn't guarantee a win. Let's see what we can do. What would you play with these tiles? I think I would force a quint, even though we have a gap no flowers, but we can use jokers. Ready to quint, ready to quint. All we need is a flower and we would even be ready to Kong a flower. Down here, I think I would play a two, four, six, eight hand. Hold that for joker bait. Discard those first. Play a quint up here with all these jokers. And down here we have two, four, six, eight. These go away. Joker bait. If you want to know more about joker bait, look in the video description below. I've done some videos demonstrating that strategy. It is a term coined by Tom Sloper of Sloperama, and it's a way to get jokers in your hand. It's hit or miss, but it's worth the effort. If I had to pick a hand, I might play the 2468 hand in two suits. There's a couple of options. Here we have a 46 and a 28. So I might play that one. I think it's the fourth hand down, fifth hand down under evens. The even hand I was thinking about is the fourth hand down. Pair of flowers, Kong two, Kong eight, and four six in another suit. But we have a four six right here. So that would mean these would be discarded. Two, eight, four, six flowers, which we have a gap. The other thing I was thinking is we could maybe play Quint with the three, four, and then five, and the dragons. That might even be better. Quint, Quint the five, pair here, pair there. This would be Quint number three. So I think I would hold the four. and the dragon for an option with the quint. Probably get rid of that in that case. Hold two, four, six, eight. If we can get flowers, we might even be able to play a pair hand here, but I would definitely force a quint with all these jokers.
I rolled a six, so we're player two again. 27 tiles. Look at those dragons. All right, single east, cracks with a pair of nines, dots, pair of nines, bams, pairs of twos and threes. We do have a nine. We have nines in each suit. What would you play here? If this were me, I think I would play like numbers with nines and one, two, three, or two, three, four consecutive run Kongs. I think that's what I would do here. I was thinking maybe we could do two, three, four, five, five, but we have no five crack. Two, three, four, five, five, that would be the fourth hand down, but this particular hand would be the third hand down. Another thing we could maybe do is use these down here and play two, three, dragon, but that would really kind of weaken this hand up here even though we do have a dragon for cracks and a dragon for dots, we could use the green dragon down here and use this for the Kong. But I would just stay concealed and see what happens because we do have options with the consecutive run here. One, two, three, or two, three, four. So I think I would start by discarding all these. 10 discards, which is two over what I try to do, but here we have no gaps with either option. So this is what I would do. I rolled a nine, so we are going to be player one. 28 tiles. We have a joker of flower, a pung of red dragons and a green. News! One, three, seven, nine for cracks. One, two, five. Twos and fives pairs with our dots. One, two, five pairs with bams. There's a pung. What would you play for these two hands? I think what I would play here is maybe two, three consecutive run with flowers second from the bottom in your consecutive run and then up here something with these dragons like numbers with fives We have too many dragons. 
I think maybe I'd play a quint. Fourth one under quints. Two, three, two, three. We have a lot of discards again. So for plan B, we have twos. I think I would hold the dragon. If we get a white dragon, we could maybe play a pair hand. So that's an option. I think maybe hold the wins and the one for a year hand option with news, joker bait. Focus here, plan B here, discards here. Discards, like number quint. Two, three, two, three, or a year hand, joker bait. Maybe a pair hand. Siamese Mahjong is not easy. I've heard people say it's too easy. It's not easy. It's quite challenging and a lot of fun to play. If you haven't tried it, I hope you give it a try. Start with random pulls, get your set out, give yourself 28 or 27 tiles and try to make two hands work. If you can set it up so that you have eight discards or less, I'd say that's a pretty strong start. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.